weeks of bloody violence in Gaza, a brief ceasefire is about to go into effect. It's only for 12 hours. It's only for the purpose of humanitarian relief. Israel and Hamas militants, far from any long-term truce. Our Julie Lonchak is live in the newsroom with the breaking details right now. Julie? And that break is into effect at 1 a.m. our time. This certainly isn't what foreign leaders have been working toward for nearly a week, but it's a start. Starting Saturday at 12 hour break, a 12 hour humanitarian window in which the shell, the rocket fire, will stop. Secretary of State John Kerry helped broker the pause, but after five days of unsuccessful negotiations that would involve a seven day ceasefire, frustration is clearly mounting. Both the Israelis and the Palestinians deserve and need to lead normal lives. And it's time for everyone to recognize that violence breeds violence. Since the conflict began, more than 800 Palestinians have been killed, many of them women and children. 36 Israelis have died. The human toll, horrific. In Gaza, doctors saved an unnamed baby girl from her mother's womb after an Israeli airstrike targeted her family's home. Her mother was nine months pregnant. Her father, associated with the Islamic Jihad, now in hiding. I think that she will survive because she is Palestinian. The fighting has enraged millions around the world. Here in Boston, hundreds of pro-Palestine protesters rallied and squared off with a dozen or so pro-Israel protesters. International leaders are hoping this break will buy time for both sides to negotiate. We are confident we have a fundamental framework that can and will ultimately work. Foreign leaders will meet yet again in Paris tomorrow. Live in the newsroom, Julie Lonchak, WCVB News Center 5.